Hey there, fellow entrepreneurs and business enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into all things business related. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that often causes confusion. The difference between purchase orders and invoices. I know, I know, it might not sound like the most thrilling topic, but trust me, understanding these documents can make your purchasing process a breeze. So, let's get started. First things first, let's tackle the question, what is a purchase order? Imagine this as the love letter you send to your favorite vendor when you want to make a purchase. It's a document created and sent by you, the purchaser, to the vendor, outlining all the details of your purchase request. It's like a shopping list on steroids. Inside this magical purchase order, you'll find a list of items you want to buy, the quantity of each item, the agreed price for each item, and other relevant information. This helps the seller evaluate and fulfill your request accurately. Think of it as a roadmap to your dream purchase. All right, all right, you might be wondering, but how do these purchase orders work? Well, imagine you're on a quest to find the perfect item. You gather information from the seller, like SKU or product numbers, item descriptions, and all those little details. You even set a delivery date to make sure everything goes smoothly. Then you jot down all these items and quantities on your purchase order, giving it a unique identifying number. This magical number allows both you and the seller to track the fulfillment of your purchase. It's like a barcode of happiness. And hey, if you're curious about what a PO number is and how to use it, we've got you covered. Just click the link below. Now, let's shake things up a bit and talk about the different types of purchase orders. You see, it's not just one size fits all. We have a variety to cater to all your purchasing needs. Check these out. One, standard purchase order. This is the go-to choice for most purchases. It's detailed and covers all the bases. Perfect for those sporadic or one-off purchases that make your heart skip a beat. Two, planned purchase order. This one's like a standard purchase order, but without the delivery info. It's great for orders that will be delivered in batches to the same location. Batch by batch, we conquer. Three, blanket purchase order. Don't worry, it's not a comfy blanket you can snuggle with. It's a purchase order without item quantity or price information. This gem is perfect for recurring orders delivered at specific intervals. Talk about convenience. Four, contract purchase order. It's like a blanket purchase order, but without specific item details. This sets the binding terms for future purchases and creates a beautiful contract between you and the seller. Ah, the power of agreement. Who knew there were so many flavors of purchase orders, right? It's like a choose your own adventure book for your business purchases. All right, let's switch gears and talk about the other player in this game, invoices. Think of an invoice as the grand finale of your purchasing journey. It's created by the seller, not you, and it's all about payment. Show me the money. An invoice lists all the items the seller provided and requests payment for those items. It's like the final receipt that seals the deal. So here's how an invoice works. Once the seller has fulfilled your order, they create an invoice. It's like a magical scroll that reveals the number and identity of each item purchased, along with the price per item, total quantity price, and the grand total. They also establish payment terms, like the due date or installment schedule. The seller then sends you this precious invoice, eagerly tracking it to ensure that you receive and honor the payment. It's like a friendly reminder to keep the financial wheels turning. Now, the big question, how are invoices different from purchase orders? It all comes down to their purpose, my friends. A purchase order is your superhero sidekick, tracking and maintaining control of the procurement process. It's all about making sure you get what you need. On the other hand, an invoice is like a gentle nudge, reminding you of your obligation to pay the seller for the items provided. It's the final step in your business transaction dance. See, understanding the difference between purchase orders and invoices can be a game changer for your business. It's like having a secret weapon that streamlines your purchasing process and keeps everyone on the same page. So embrace the power of knowledge and go conquer the world of procurement. That's all for today's video, folks. If you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. 
And remember, stay positive, stay optimistic, and keep exploring the endless possibilities in the world of business. Until next time, happy purchasing.